depends on who you're playing and how much trust you have in an individual player with their experience that he won't pick up that third foul. So let's just keep our eye on the decision-making of Coach Woodson. We'll say this, he's never fouled out in his career. Oh, crazy! <laughs> you don't want to slow it down. And on that play right there, even with Zach Eady guarding Trace Jackson, it was a double team that came, and he almost turned it over. So let's keep our eye on how the offense operates now that TJD is back in the lineup. Purdue looking for some offense of their own. Ivy had a quiet first half outside of that dunk. Let's it go mm. from three and connects, and that's it. Offensively and defensively. Well, Thompson almost lost it. And then corralled it to save it. Here is Purdue and Ivy. Feeling it from deep. He's got it again. Uh-oh. In this game. As you, as you would expect, though. Ivy, aggressive move. Mm. And slams it home. He is really able to put it on the deck. Nice little spin move. I should have jump shot inside. It's only his fifth game back at a fractured wrist. And there is Iron Bloomington. <laughs> Ivy will just pull up from the elbow mm. and a soft touch. Edie on the block. Picks to Ivy, lets it fly. First half, they had 52 against Omaha in the first half. Had 52 in the second half against North Carolina. Ivy will try to extend that, and he does. What do you think this Purdue team is right now going back into conference play defensively, Robbie? We know where they are offensively. Well, I think they've done a really nice job outside of the first four or five minutes here today. I think they're they're growing. You know, I, I thought that there was maybe some things exposed as beating Ivy. Those numbers, you've got one heck of a productive post for the Purdue Boilermakers. Ivy back on the floor, and he hits the three. After the second foul on Thompson, back to work for Nichols. The spinning fade away by Jones, rebounded by Travion Williams, his eighth. Here comes Ivy in the open floor. Oh. Whole country, yeah, really solid with the basketball. And Frank's team live. Oh, oh Ivy team. with that burst. <laughs> And that's tough right there. I mean, he's a, he's actually a pretty talented player, but his brother is special. But yeah. I think he should stay one more year for yeah. sure. Averaging 10 a game. Here's Ivy. Goes to the other side. Green and look over oh, better. There he is. You're very fortunate when he doesn't make those open looks. Oh, oh, nice speed. We've seen this all week here. You can't pick up the defenders yeah. all the way to the That's the first three of the game for him. He had missed his first four. Well, the tougher they are, the better he delivers. You gotta get the, the, the clock in one of the halves under a minute. He'll hit him. <laughs> Absolutely. Ivy. From the same spot where Bohanna yesterday. But here we go. Second half with the conference championship on the line. Start, Shake up. Yeah, they started with that play yeah. first half. Edie, two on him quickly. Goes back out with it. Nice recovery, too. A little blow by here. Does a great job keeping people on his hips and finishing the game. Come circling around, drives in. Edie again, throwing some good hands. It's five on the clock. Ivy is aware of the one, puts it up and in. And what a cut and stand. And a tough entry. Week two, if they were to win two games, Purdue would go to Chicago most field. That's 100 miles away. Speaking of the SEC, how about Tennessee? Oh, they don't never leave the ball. Up top, Crowell. No, sir. Edie goes over the top to get a piece of it. Boilermakers look good early. Up 8-4. to four. They play Indiana over the weekend as Ivy. Oh, no. He's... And he throws it right to Ivy, skidding into the play. Down the lane he goes, and this is... <laughs> Ivy's got to start to score. There's three. Well, that was a misdemeanor. A lot of the time, there Chris Vogt stayed home. Johnny Davis went flying for that ball and had it taken away. Potter on the gas pedal. Over his shoulder with a great find. Behind you, who, who he just can't see. 
because he is behind him and I think he gets a hand on the ball, but Davidson making something happen. No! Boy, he had Mason Gillis running the floor and Wisconsin's transition defense a little bit discombobulated there. Jaden Ivey. Purdue's young superstar. Off the screen from Edie. Gymnastic dribbling. Into two. Boy, the ball. Big Ten title on the line. Ivy steps into a drive. Oh! The big man changed that shot. Hard to fade over a 7 4 center. Yeah, the Glacier. It's Space Eater. And there he is on the other end. Makers with the rock in the traveling black. Here's Ivy. The high screen from Edie drives and lays it in. Wow. Foul just messes with your, your normal rotations. Here's Ivy. Hey. Hangs and he gets the roll. Ball screen and roll action, that's there. That's just breakdown for Purdue. Ivy. And to Golden. Well, he does defensively. Good job by Diabate, just being strong with it. Hunter Dickinson getting ready to check back into this game. Diabate, four of five in the field so far. Ivy drives. Before he got that push shot. Why did you leave him? Basic vision on all those screens. Uh, Ivy. <laughs> I got a will that. A minute and a half into the game. First look. Hauser. And Gillis able to claim that rebound. That would have been big for a lot of reasons. Kind of step back. Ivy. Oh, there you go. Right only one. You ready? Good yeah. job. Is those guys. Never pack it. Keep churning away. Ivy doubled up for a second. Marvel really doing a pretty good job trying to stand the month. Oh. But then he could soar. It's for Michigan State to come in this half. Six and a half minutes in. <laughs> Got to go to Edie right now. Bingham has three fouls. I would I think that's a touch. They were trying to do that. Ivy. He gets five. Look at this. Oh, that's Ivy. Ivy looking to create as he always does. Look at this. Look at Aikens. Look at that. Everybody went the other way. <laughs> Big shot here from the corner. Oh, has a good, good two hand. Oh, no, and it's Ivy. Watch out. Behind the back. Up and in. It's by Lowy. You gotta be careful with this Purdue team. They like early offense. And early offense mm -hmm. is Curry. Against Williams, takes him inside, and well defended by Travion. And Curry just blew that, that shot, though. He's point blank. you got to convert that. Ivy found a crease, and wins that battle. Sean Sutherland kicks it out. Curry, that's a two. Weedy with the tip. And first rips it down. I'd like to see Eric Curry, if he gets the ball on the wing against... Uh, Edie, take him off the bounce and see what you can get. Ivy off the glass and in. But he's passed up a couple looks, in my opinion. Peyton Willis with the miss. Here's Ivy in the paint. Leans in off the glass and scores again. How well Purdue is playing offensively. You know, Minnesota's hanging around here this first half. Yeah, they are, and they, they're generating enough offense to keep to stick within striking distance. They're gonna need a couple stops here to end this half to get some momentum back their way. Ivy around, it'll count and around the yard. But Ivy cannot hit it. Another offensive board. They are doing their jobs on the offensive glass. Purdue getting good looks. Eventually, these are going to go. They're too good of a shooting team. There you go. How can you get him going downhill so he can make plays? That's a heck of a way to start. <laughs> and here he is. Folks, it's showtime. So Ivy now with five to go along with a couple of rebounds. And now back. Another hammer. 
Bunk. He's a very good passer for the most part, usually as well, but leads the team in assists this year. Over four a game. Ivy has it knocked free by Smith. Now he takes it right down the lane into the rim. Has it stripped by Williams. Up to Ivy. Ivy lays it in. Ivy's going to be the one to bring it up. Driving it on board. Cell blew right by him. Holy cat. Here we go. I thought Travion Williams might have messed him up by throwing a really awkward handoff, but Sasha Stefanovic didn't matter, got his feet set, and just drilled it. This has turned into a dandy, and most of the folks here in Brooklyn are on their feet. Darion Sebron is driving that ball right here. He's going to try to get to the rim. Corner, more sell. Yep, it did. I and Ivy skies for the rebound. Here comes Ivy. Ivy doing it all himself. Oh, boy. Has it taken away. Gillis steps through. Missed it. Guess who did miss? Off balance. Webster no man. Tried to tap it back. Ivy step back three, yes. Hunter finding Ivy. Ivy short, got his own miss. And he goes again this time. He Shot clock winding down. Stefanovic. Ivy from way deep. Got it. He's been the two team in the country. Ivy will try another three. And hits another three. Being very, very good players. And again, Leonard Hamilton told us when we get healthy, we get everybody back, and we get some more experience, we're going to be okay in the ACC. Jalen Worley has been impressive in spots here tonight. A lot of switching. Good job by Florida State keeping that ball in front. Nice cut. Oh, look, look out. Yeah. 300 pound monster. So Williams sits. Edie is in. Say, Florida State has not played badly, John, but Purdue, their offensive execution is just exquisite. Ivy on the baseline. Oh, my goodness. That seven foot one. He's like a small forward out there. Purdue by 13, John Chambi, Fran Fraschilla here in West Lafayette. Good pressure on the perimeter. Ivy Dean. Oh, man. This year, you've already seen him knock down two face-up jumpers. Ivy. Reeks. Ethan Morton will trigger it in, number 25 and white. <laughs> That's seal. Oh! Collins lost that one. Pushed it. Ivy pushed it good. Pushed it real good. Three, two, doesn't matter. That jump shot is rolling for Hunter Dickinson. <laughs> yes, it is. Ivy. Goodness. Played off two feet. Goodness. How good, how good is this game? <laughs> this is this is pretty good stuff. Yes, it is. Ivy. Letting the game come to him, and sometimes taking it right to the rim. To attack it even against this matchup zone. Here comes that screen, and this is where Ivy's gone to work. Brooks trying to show against it. Mano a mano, and Ivy uses the glass. Off the curl. Went dead off the heel. And uh, an easier rebound, Travion Williams will never get. Ivy! High rising! He has the... Can they get him going? Two points, he's only gotten off one shot. And that pass taken away. Ivy with a full head of steam, splits him and lays it in. What a play, Jake. Four from the floor in this half, again after shooting 26% from the field in the first half. Ivy from the wing, yes! Bang with Williams down low, took his time to get to a sweet spot.
Comes into the game with three points on the season, and now he has five tonight. Josh Agundale. I'm surprised Mason Gillis, when he caught that pressure break, didn't turn and attack the rim. Iowa hanging around. Now 13 and a half, now nine. Shot clock dwindling Ivy. Wow, that was pretty, huh? Yes, it was. I'm glad no one got injured on that tumble. Iowa just hasn't got much from their starters. 20 points from the starters, 23 from the bench. And being down a dozen. Look at Ivy. Oh, period. Yes, it is. And a, and a guy that can command respect from players. Oh, boy. Ivy. 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 Real leader for this Butler team. That one goes crying off the front iron. Ivy. Nothing. They are up in the rebounding category, 13 to 6. Not uncommon. That's what Purdue does to just about everybody. Ivy. Count it. Defensive class of rebounding. So you got to figure out with Butler, too, how to conserve those fouls. And right now, wow, he's in rhythm, isn't he? Right now, you need a positive offensive possession. Miles Tate loses it. Ivy again. Hammer time. Boiler ball. Taylor. Not there. Stefanovic holds it down. And another opportunity that time. The bowler to cash in on an open three-point shot. Not able to knock it in. Well, this guy's got a lot of pep in his step, doesn't he? Look at that high riser. Look at that high riser. Golden, not this time. Taken out of there by Ivy. <laughs> and he's just feeling it. They had to hoist it up there to get it over Edie's hands. Ivy go. on the drive, yes, with the left hand. I love how Jake. And United States playing harder right now. Blocked by there Williams. Ivy to the rack, lays it up and in. Jay. The top ten, as here is Ivy into the body, a roll it in. I mount uh, almost out of nowhere, had a really good game at two assists at Indiana. Eating one hand to two. Frazier had it ripped away. Bosman's for Dunk, the recovery, and he missed it on the welcome mat. He missed one of those in Champagne as well. I mean, that's a wide open look for Donk has got to finish that one off when you get a break like that. Jaden Ivey into traffic again. Williams tracks it down for the Boilermakers and won't take the three. Quiet start for Jaden Ivey, one of the top players in this Big Ten. He creates an open look up top that goes down for first. Almost looks like he guided it. Well, Isaiah Thompson, along with Stefanovic, Ivy, they go away from Ivy, Williams with a bullet. And here's Jaden Ivy against Fraser, who's locked him up pretty well. Open look for here. It was a big time play by Coburn. They had the first six of the game combined, and Eddie mm -hmm. matches Coburn. A hand in, and he went window anyway for two. Playing off the closeout. Sasha Stefanovic coming over as the help side defender. Credit Jacob Grandison for pulling off, going off glass. A lot of guys, especially in this atmosphere, would try to take that all the way to the rim and put themselves at risk for an offensive foul. Very controlled, too. It's a one-point game. First place in the Big Ten on the line. That was a bear hug from Demonte Williams, and still Ivy scores. He's just defensive rebounds and turnovers. They've given extra opportunities. The Mason Gillis offensive rebound kick out to Eric Hunter Jr. And Hunter making a play, but it's been a little bit of Illinois doing it to themselves. Ivy picking his way, and he rolled it in. That sweep. Ten. Curbello probing. Curbello missed it way too strong. When Andre Curbello is under that basket, you secure the rebound. You, you better really secure that thing. He's coming to take it from you. Yeah, he has interest in larceny. Ivy fills it up for now, but this was known coming in, and it's certainly been felt here tonight. Twice yeah. in big spots. I know. It's not good. I don't have to tell you. I'm telling them. I mean, 
Here's Ivy into the lane for what Purdue, a and he got it. Perini in a stop. Edie to try and get in position. I mean, watching these bigs off the ball is wild as Perbello misses the shot and the rebound for Caleb First, who's played some big minutes for Purdue in this game. Ivy. Double clutch for fortunate there. That was a three-man post draft, and Caleb First really gave Jacob Grandison another good look. Ivy pivoting strength. There's no question. I mean, Purdue had it with Isaac Haas as well, and Kofi gets it. Zach Eady gets it. It's just one of those deals where when you're that big, guys are beating on you, and they take contact as well as anybody. The physicality they play with, but that doesn't mean it's not a foul. See what Ivy does now. Poking and prodding and leaning and he kicks it out. Got a look for Thompson and he got a quick and roll. He is dicing up Illinois. High low intercepted. Travion Williams. This place could absolutely blow its top. Ivy oh, yeah. lost his oh, man, okay. got to get it to him. Frazier's down. And he buried the three. It's great. It's in the NCAA tournament upset. They had high hopes last year. As a four seed in Indianapolis, they ran into Davion Hamlet, who had an amazing game for North Texas. This Purdue team right now is a one seed, and rightfully so, and looks extraordinarily dangerous. Because of him. Right. Coburn digging. Eating. Smacked it right back at him. And then they take it away with Gillis. Ivy wants more points. A little hesitation. Surgical over the win. Early shot. Here's Young. One of those guys does an awful lot of things. Shoots at 37. Look at his pull up. Ivy taking contact. It's St. Vincent, St. Mary, same high school as LeBron James in Akron. Altman talking to us about the two and a half year recruiting process. What a sign of that just turned out to be. Travion can jam everything up on him. Young stepping middle, turn back. Williams got a piece. That's what Matt Painter told us. We just have to figure out our defense. And then we can play with anyone. Well, he can get to the rim. Ivy putting it down. Here long. I know you'll be having a beverage someplace, uh, enjoying it. We will be watching. Later this afternoon, Ivy kind of muffed it for a little bit, got it back, and puts it down. Need Orange to make that deep shot and a wheeler to play that high level. We know he can guard. Well, defensive team two years in a row, Big Ten. That last Ohio State whistle against Branham was his third. And look at this, Ivy finally on the floor, right? Talk about deflating. <laughs> Caleb first, another freshman. With loads of talent. Ivy, six to shoot. Probing the defense, feels his way inside by the freshman Branham. Puts it on the deck down to four seconds. Hunter in the corner. Ivy for the win.